Hi, it's Tracy and I'm here today to share with you a review of an oldie but a goodie. This is something I just purchased, but it's been around for a while. There have been a lot of reviews on this product, but it's been a while because it came out a couple of years ago, and that is the Lorac Unzipped Palette. I have been wearing this palette for quite some time and I just purchased it in the last couple of weeks because I got a great coupon that got me 20% off and I felt like it was an outstanding deal. So let me share with you what I love about this palette and I'll also do some swatches. I know there are tons of swatch videos on this palette, but since it's been around for a while, you know, you might have to dig a little bit to find those videos, so I thought I would share with you my swatches and my review of the Lorac Unzipped. All of these swatches are done over the Lorac Behind the Scenes Primer. You do get a travel size, a little mini of the Lorac Behind the Scenes Eye Primer when you purchase the Lorac Unzipped Palette. And I do think it's a very good eye primer. It's comparable to Too Faced Shadow Insurance or um, any number of other eye primers that are like that. So, um, and these, this is the color payoff that you get from these shadows. Now here's a look at all of the colors of the palette. And of course they're very clever and all the color names start with UN. So that's very clever. But I'm gonna show you all the swatches. And I've already swatched so this would go a little faster. All right, and here are the swatches, and you can see that these are all very neutral, very pigmented colors. The bottom row is actually the top row in the palette. The first color is a light cream colored, and you can't really see it. It's a matte, and then you have kind of a peachy, coppery, a rose gold, a kind of a taupey mauve color, and a deep burgundy matte, and then this bottom row here is um, a gold, Let's see a gold, kind of a pinky champagne, it's very pretty, um, another golden brown, kind of a bronzy color, uh, this is a matte brown, a darker matte brown, and then a very dark matte brown. What I love about this palette, a couple of things. One, the shadows are very pigmented, they're very blendable, they're really soft, there's not really a lot of fallout on these, they're not chalky at all. Also, and probably the thing I love most about this palette, is that for me it's the perfect work palette. You can achieve a sultry, smoky eye with this palette, but you can most definitely achieve a variety of work-appropriate looks for those of us who work in more conservative environments. You really can't go wrong with these colors. Pretty much all the colors complement one another. They are very warm, so if you don't look good in warm colors, this palette's probably not going to work for you. Another thing I love about this palette is the mix of shimmers and matte colors. Um, there are five shimmers, so half the palette is shimmer and half the palette is matte. And the matte colors that they've chosen are the perfect ones to be matte. You've got a matte brow bone highlight. You've got really two excellent um, crease colors. This um, unconditional, I think that's what it is. Yes, this unconditional is a matte kind of a rosy mauve color, and then the um, unbroke, unspoken is a little deeper matte brown. Then you also have a matte burgundy for you to deepen it up the outer V or the crease, and then a matte brown untamed. Uh, the burgundy is unbridled, the matte brown is untamed, and both of those are great for deepening up the outer V or for lining with because they are dark enough to line with. Then you've got all these gorgeous shimmers that are versatile really because they're not all the same color even though they're in the same color family. You've got a gold which is undiscovered. You've got a, um, it almost comes off as a peachy gold, this unbelievable, very pigmented color. Then you've got a champagne -y pink color, unreal. You've got unattainable, which looks more brown in the pan, but actually on the eye turns out to be more of a rose gold, almost taupe color. It's one of the prettiest colors in the palette, I think. And then you've got this um, uncensored, which is a really um, golden brown. 
And so lots of beautiful shimmer colors in addition to beautiful matte colors. And that variety, that perfect mix of matte and shimmer and giving you the option of a shimmery brow bone highlight or matte brow bone highlight and a matte crease color, both a medium tone and also a darker tone, makes this a really versatile palette for most people, I think. For beginner, the reason I think this is a good palette is that all the colors really go together well and you don't have to be a makeup guru in order to make great looking um, eye looks out of the colors in this palette. It's appropriate for pretty much any work environment. You can do a totally matte eye, you can do a mix of matte and shimmer, you can do a totally shimmer eye and it's going to look gorgeous with this palette. I'll zoom in so you can see the look I'm wearing today. I am wearing a totally matte eye, which I don't normally do, but I've decided to experiment and try that out with this palette and I do like the way it turned out. This is actually a good palette for beginners, I think, because most of the shades pretty much all of the shades go together. You know, I love that there's a matte cream brow bone highlight because I don't like shimmer on my brow bone, but this color right here is also light enough that if you apply it with a light hand, if you wanted a shimmery brow bone highlight, you could use that color and it would work well for that. I'm wearing a totally matte eye today from this palette. If you look at my lid, about half of my lid and then all under my brow bone, I have the cream color undercover. For the outer half of my lid and into the crease, I worked the medium toned unconditional. That's kind of a mauve color, matte color. Then I also took the unspoken, which is a little bit darker brown matte color, um, into the crease on just on the outer edge to deepen it up. And then I took that burgundy matte unbridled and I did it right on the edge of the lid and also just the out, barely bit of the outer bead just to deepen everything up just a bit. And you can see how you end up with a really pretty matte eye that is very, has a lot of dimension to it and it doesn't look flat, which sometimes I think a matte eye can look really flat if you're not careful. And I even took some of the unconditional right on the inner corner to brighten up that inner corner. So that's my review of the Lorac Unzip Palette. This palette sells for $42. I was able to get it with a 20% discount, so $8 off, which is an excellent value. These are large shadows as you can see these are, these are larger than the shadows that you get in the Lorac Pro palette. I think this is a great value. It's a great everyday palette. Um, let me know if you'd like to see more looks with the Lorac unzipped palette. I'll be happy to share those with you. I've been wearing it quite a bit lately. I hope you're having a great day and I'll talk to you again real soon. Bye-bye.